Welcome to my small tutorial on how to export your parts from SOLIDWORKS into a file format that is readable by an Epilog 18 mini print uh, laser cutter. Here you can see my robot that I have built in SOLIDWORKS the assembly. I'm clicking for on new and I'm going into a drawing format. This is where we're going to put all our elevations or plans of our, of our parts. And we set our custom sheet size to 600 by 300 millimeters. This is the size of the Perspex sheet that you put into the laser cutter. As you can see, SolidWorks automatically makes a mistake and leaves the old screen size in the black box. So I just like to save the file and open it again, just so the black box within the middle of the white sheet isn't there. It's, it's just it's handier to work with. It looks nicer. Excellent, and I am now opening the same draw by letter received. Now, much better to work with. Now, we click on model view to import our parts. Now, when we look at our model view, we can see here it's a flat line that is an elevation, front elevation, and end elevation. We want to see our plan, and we also want to change the scale of the thing to one to one. So every millimetre that you have on your part will be a millimetre in real life on this sheet. It's also good practice for to put your parts tight to the edge. Not so tight, like leave about 2 or 3 mil of a gap just in case there are any damages in the Perspex sheet. Perspex sheet does have a tolerance. It is supposed to be 600 by 300 millimetres. But it's not necessarily going to be the size. You're going to have maybe a millimeter or plus or minus. So it's always good to leave a little bit of leeway. Now we're skipping ahead to a drawing that I completed earlier. And here we can see that the centre holes don't have centre marks in it, which is the norm when you import it. See, I'm just for example now, I'm in my cam, you can see the centre. I just have to click on it, delete it, because you don't want the laser cutter to etch out or to delete your centre marks or cut. Save my file. print and this is important you put line thickness because at the moment the line thicknesses are too big for to be seen in the laser cutter as a cutting line otherwise it'll just engrave it now the smallest unfortunately that you can set your lines to in SolidWorks is 0.05 millimeters now this technically is below the limit specified by the epilog a mini 18 data sheet it requires less than 0 0.05 0 0.005 of an inch for the line to be considered a cutting line now here i'm copying all and i am going to try and change the component line font here it didn't select all unfortunately see the line looks a lot thinner than the other lines I go to component line font get rid of the use document style and you go up to the visible edges because it's the edges that are seen in the drawn and the edges that you want to cut and change to the thinner set and even though you've set all to 0 0.05 just it's nicer that we see the lines are thin it reminds us that we have put them thin Here we have managed to copy all. It's also good practice for to fill in any of your smaller parts in any holes of waste material that you're not going to use. It saves perspex and leaves a sizable chunk at the end that you are able to use for other purposes. Just 
save this file as it is. And now we're going to go file save as and save as this as an Adobe Illustrator file. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to export this drawn into Inkscape. This way we can reduce our line size from 0.05mm right down to 0.01mm which is ideal for cutting. Inkscape. You could save it as a PDF directly in SolidWorks and just laser cut it from there. But it's much better for to try and get the lines as thin as possible. Let's simply go through your browser for the find your file that you want it. Save as in this as a file format that I remember. Adobe Illustrator file. I'm not going to save the name here as Final Robot. Just, just throw it up. I'm just double checking all my line thicknesses. I can see the AI Adobe Illustrator file. Now we go to precision of approximate and gradient meshes to very fine. This takes a little bit longer and this may be a higher processor. It's not very demand processor. Um, it's just that your curves are smoother. So your, now see here we have a watermark from SolidWorks Student Edition. It's not hard to delete this because you don't want to be etching that out. going to do now is we're going to zoom in on the parts and use a measuring tool and change it to millimeters for to see the thickness of the line. Here we can see a 0 0.05 which technically is low enough for to be considered a cutting line but I'd prefer to be safer. So we're going to scroll out and we are going to change the fill and stroke of all our objects. Now the fill we're not going to worry about, but the stroke we're going to just change the line thickness down to 0 0.05. So we're going to go to File, Object Stroke. Now here I think I accidentally put a fill into it. Don't do this. Go to Millimeters. See, I'm going to get rid of the stroke now. Are they? I'm going to get rid of the fill. Just the way we had it, I'm going to change this to 0 0.01 and change the tab down to millimeters. Here we can see that we can barely see, we can't see it at all actually in this view, our part. When we zoom in, we can't see it, it's just the line is so thin that our browser can't see it. zoom in and we're going to measure the length this again just to show that it is 0 0.01 millimeters Point. 0 0.01 ideal Copying all our parts, and we can do this in one file. So we're going to change all of them to 0 0.01 of a millimeter. Now we can't see any of our parts. We zoom in, there they are. We didn't delete them, they're still there. This panicked me the first time I done it. I thought I deleted the whole sheet. Now 
Now we're changing this. Oh, we're just gonna save this as Inkscape file. Or oh. no, sorry, I'm gonna uh, save this as a PDF, portable document format, fourth one down. This is the file PDF was requested. Just this must be the file that's readable by the user color. No, I think that's it. So it is. Final robot PDF. We're going to open this in Adobe just to show the lines are so thin that you can't actually see them. However, the Epilogue Mini 18 printer will be able to see them. Hey, thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial can be of benefit to you. Thank you.